What's up, friends of the good boy? This is Manny, and welcome to the next Stargate Staged Space Battle video episode here on the channel. And what do we have here? We have an Asgard O'Neill class mothership. We have the Tari Daedalus with the Asgard beam weapons installed, so the latest version, if you will. We have Apophis mothership. We have a, a Goa'uld um, Hatak, one of the newer classes, and an Asgard Beliskner. Now you could ask, what could possibly put the Tari, the Goa'uld, and the Asgard side by side facing one opponent? Huh? What can it be? You know it. It can only be one enemy. The only enemy that this galaxy will face near the end of the season. It's the Ori. Those are the ancients. And not just the ancients when they're with their incredibly long technology time to develop it. It's the military version of the Ancients, if you will. It's the warrior Ancients that couldn't stop from cleansing galaxies and attacking folk, um, you know, species. Those are the Ori. They are insane, okay? And to showcase this insanity, we have here this fleet of the younger races, if you will, against the Ori and just two Ori cruisers. All right, and despite the uh, as uh, the uh, and and as, as I said, the Daedalus has the Asgard beam weapons installed. Of course, we can say the Daedalus isn't fighting very smart here. It's just in the formation with the other ships, and it's just engaging. Okay, because it's like the like the battle on the Super Gate. You remember the battle on the Super Gate? The younger races lost tremendously. Because they were also engaging in a head-on fight, frontally, without using the, you know, without really squaring uh, around the enemy ships. And that's what they are doing here, too. Maybe this is the first contact they never seen the Ori. Uh, the Daedalus has launched their nuclear warheads. It's flying right here and it's going to impact on the shield of the Ori now. <laughs> Massive explosion, but there is no getting through that Ori shield. Not even with the Asgard beam weapons and... The Ori are not stupid, they realize what's the most dangerous ship here in the thing, and it is the Asgard, uh, the Daedalus, and they have already disabled it with three shots of their main singularity beam weapon, and even the Asgard O'Neill, after four shots, the shield is done, and after the fifth shot, the O'Neill class, the strongest ship this universe knows, actually, uh, the Ida Galaxy, or no, the, um, is it the Ida Galaxy? Uh, well, our galaxy where the Tari live, uh, it, uh, it gets destroyed. Apophis' mothership destroyed. We know the Hataks fail with one of those beams and it just happened here. And the only one left alive is one Asgard Beliskner desperately trying to escape. And yes, I know it's unrealistic that this Ori flagship can shoot backwards. It's a game engine and it's not perfect, okay? But the damage values of weapons, the shields, the strength of ships, that is very, very, very accurate here in this game engine. Uh, it's just that things like that where the enemy can fire backwards, that's not possible, but let's ignore that, okay? And here goes the last, the last ship of this faction going down. Boom, there fails the ship of the Beliskner. One more shot. And it's going to be bye-bye time for the young races. They have damaged the ship. You see, the textures of the Ori ships, by the way, are not finished either. Just in case you're wondering why they're so white, the textures aren't fully developed. I'm sorry, I can't change it. I didn't make this. Um, but you see, we have already seen... We This ship has seen some damage, uh, but the ship is still intact. The shields were even still intact. And the younger races didn't stand the slightest chance against those Ori. Those ancient m battle military warrior versions of the ancients with their insane Ori cruisers. Um, we've seen in the TV show how the uh, Daedalus can actually attack. Was it the Odyssey or the Daedalus? I think it was the Daedalus. Like, um, how it can actually uh, successfully attack and even destroy an Ori cruiser. But it has to come from behind and it has to circle around the Ori cruiser and not get hit by that freaking main main battery or main singularity beam weapon that the Ori have. If it gets hit, the shield will fail, fail after the first, almost after the first shot, and the second shot will pretty much take it down. In this one here, it even, it, it was basically destroyed after three shots completely. It was disabled and could no longer move and fight. And, uh, and that's what we have seen here, and I really like these Ori, man. They are so 
gosh darn powerful. And if we just take a look at this again, um, they're even opening up very well with a, with a nuke, with a nuclear warhead that they sent into it here. And it's flying in there right there. And you see it comes in together with the beam weapons. So it's a maximum alpha damage that the Daedalus can't possibly send together with the O'Neill class sending their plasma, together with the, uh, the uh, Apophis ship. But same as they do it in the TV show, you see they're not focusing on one ship. They're focusing on both Ori cruisers at the same time. Maybe if they had all focused one cruiser, and maybe they would have been able to destroy that one. They would have still lost the battle to the second cruiser, but they might have been able to destroy one. But in the TV show, they also didn't do that. If you watch that part at the Supergate, they're all firing at different targets, and that is also why they were unable to even destroy just one Ori cruiser in this opening battle at the Supergate. With this is a part where I was like, ha, huh. strategic warfare would say you focus down one target first to diminish the enemy firepower. They didn't do it, and so they lost tremendously. And, uh, and that's the same thing. I basically played the same role here, just without the super gate and a little bit smaller scale with just two Ori cruisers. Um, but we have the Asgard O'Neill in there and the beam weapons of the Daedalus, both things which were not present in the super gate battle, I think, right? So we, we actually gave the younger races a bit of an advantage here uh, compared to the Ori than, uh, from the series, and they still couldn't make it. <laughs> it's just too strong, these things. And sorry about the missing te textures. Um, there's going to be another video coming up with an Ori cruiser. Okay, so stay tuned for that on the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money signing off. Bye-bye.